Hello everyone! Welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. I'm Callie and today we are taking a look at Kim Joy's Magic Bakery. <laughs> Let's get cooperative in this baking game for two to five players ages eight and up and it takes about 15 to 30 minutes to play. So in the Magic Bakery game we will be working together to fulfill different customer orders for lots of baked goodies and yummy treats. So we'll go over first uh, a little bit of what all you get in the game, how to set it up, a little bit of the turn order and how to play, and then at the end I'll give my review of Kim Joy's Magic Bakery. Some of the setup of Kim Joy's Magic Bakery will depend on the number of players and how many times you've played the game. So we'll start with the scenario cards. You'll see there's a, a big warning first here. Stop, don't read these yet. You'll pull off the first one that says zero and start with the first scenario. And these will kind of alter the game a little bit, maybe add a different portion to the setup or to the rules. And it will also tell you how you're going to score and how to uh, win the game. So you'll start with number one and then as you progress through games, you'll you'll achieve different scenarios and they may add other cards into the game. Next, you'll set up your customer deck and the customer deck as well will have different range of one, two, and three customers that, and the numbers of those will depend on uh, the players that you have, number of players you have playing the game. Shuffle all those up, lay one out, and then for the layers card, you'll just place them face up in the same type. So um, pastries, jam, sponge, all in the same stack there. So you can easily access them. Next up, we have the ingredients deck. And for the first game, you'll just put in one helpful duck into the ingredients deck. For the rest, just keep the helpful ducks to the side. Those will be unlocked as you go through the scenarios. Then you'll lay out uh, five ingredients after you've shuffled them all up and a draw three ingredients cards for each player then the first player will get the first player marker and you're ready to start on your turn you'll have a set of different actions that you can choose from and we're playing a four player game here you'll have two of those actions that you can perform on your turn before it's the next player's turn so the first one is you can pick up any of the available ingredients in the ingredient sort of pantry that's available there. The second thing you can do is turn in your ingredient cards and bake one of the layers that are available. So for example, for a sponge, we're going to need butter, eggs, flour, and sugar all in our hand. Turn those in, put them in the ingredient discard face up, and grab that layer card. Another action option that you have is you can fulfill one of the customer orders. So for the customer orders, you'll need all of the ingredients. They could be different ingredients. It could be layers. It could be a combination of those. Some of the customers will also have a special garnish where you can add on that additional ingredient for extra bonus uh, point or ability. Another action option in this cooperative game is you can pass a card to a fellow baker and that may just give them what they need on their turn to fulfill one of the orders or bake a layer that they need. Final action option you can do is to refresh the pantry. Take all of the available pantry ingredient cards, put them in the discard and lay out five new cards. After everyone has taken their turn, two or more actions depending on the number of players. Then we'll progress to the cleanup round where we're going to move the customers along their row. So in this customer row, there are actually three spots available for customers to sort of be in the bakery, right? And then as the turn rounds progress, they'll be moving along, a new one will come out each round. And then finally, if you don't have enough spaces for those customers and you haven't fulfilled their order yet, they'll be gone and you won't be able to fulfill that order anymore. The game will end when the customer stack and the row has completely run out of customers. 
you'll gather up all the customer orders that you were able to fulfill and then check against the scenario card to see if you scored one, two, or three stars for that scenario. After that, you can, if the game is over, you can decide if you want to replay that scenario again next time or right away or move on to the next scenario and change up the game a bit and progress through all of the 10 scenarios. There's a ninth place in the booklet as well where you can track your progress through the scenarios. All right, how did we like Kim Joy's Magic Bakery? Well, it was super enjoyable, super cute game. I love the artwork, it's beautiful and um, really kind of brings everything together, very whimsical and fun and very inviting for newer players. We did play this game with some players who are newer to gaming and it was a really good time. They caught on and because it's cooperative, we're able to work together. And actually there's quite a bit of strategy in the game, which was surprising as far as really needing to communicate who was going to fulfill what order and then kind of back up, well, I need this many turns to get this layer. I need this ingredient from you, maybe this one from you and, and time it right, especially at the end when you're running out of turns as the customers are going down the row and you really have to time it well as far as who's doing what. Uh, so overall on the strategy part, awesome. We love the artwork and the colorful different cards. Having the bright colors for each of the different card types was really good. Uh, made it super easy and clear to see what was what. And then the scenarios. I really enjoyed the scenarios because they added a different element to each game. So I'll just, just for the first scenario, not really spoiling too much, hopefully, or you can skip ahead a minute. Um, the cat card will actually come here and cover two of your layer stacks. And so it's another layer of having to organize and communicate who's going to do what because there's an additional action where you can move the cat, but only left or right along the stacks. That added a really fun element. And then also as you progress through the scenarios, they'll uh, amp up in difficulty and add different elements that you'll have to think through and communicate. So on the cooperation side, a plus and on the sort of campaign style mode of the game, A plus. Some players may not enjoy the stressful aspect of the game, especially if they are perfectionists, because at least as we were playing, there's definitely gonna be some customers orders that you won't be able to get to, and you may be caught holding some ingredients that are not um, usable anymore. And that's part of the, I think, communication of the game and timing of it and, and figuring that out but it is forgiving in that you can replay the scenarios and get better at this game over time. Overall, we really enjoyed the Kim Joy's Magic Bakery card game and would definitely bring it out, especially for someone who loves the baking theme, loves that customer management aspect of different games. Maybe they like those types of apps or um, other types of games where you have to fulfill orders to different customers. This could be a good introduction to a cooperative board game for them, a card game for them, and just to have a good time doing those types of things that they enjoy, but with other people around you. If you'd like to check out more about Kim Joy's Magic Bakery, the link will be down in the description. Please check it out. Let me know what you think about the game. If you played it, let me know what you think as well in the comments. And of course, please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell notification if you want to see more of our review videos uh, here at Unfiltered Gamer. And of course, you can catch us live playing games every Sunday evening, 6.30 PST on Facebook. And then later we post it to YouTube as well. So um, you can see us play games just like this one, like other ones, a bunch of Kickstarter games that aren't even out yet. We get to play and share them with you. It's a lot of fun. You can get a little banter going back and forth with the audience. It's a really good time. And of course, unfiltergamer.com as well. We have a giveaway going on right now for Drop Drive by the creators of Dungeon Drop. And it's a really fun game as well. Uh, really enjoyable, competitive, a uh, little bit of dexterity, puzzler, adventure around space. So check that out. <laughs> I'm Callie and as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.